You want it for 1100? Can't have it for 11. I don't have 1100. My bank manager would have words with me. I'll give you 600 and, and the sandwich that I we haven't finished from lunch. In the markets of Marrakesh, and I'm not convinced my hustling will get me the best deal. But I am packing a shooter that delivers the goods every time. Because its charm is the ability to refocus any snap after I've pressed the shutter. Inside, this camera's sensor doesn't just record information about brightness and colour. Millions of minute lenses means it knows where the light beams are coming from. So it actually takes a 3D snapshot that includes depth information. That way, you can select what you want to be in focus, something that's been impossible until late. The first Lytro camera was, well, more of a box, and it came out a couple of years ago. Loved by enthusiasts, it proved a bit niche. But the new Alum could pass as a sleek DSLR and has a fair few tricks up its lens hood to help you get composed. Now, this camera won't let you choose any point within the frame as the main focus later on. So to keep you in control, it has a very special feature. Anything that has blue dots in the foreground, anything that has orange dots in the background can be chosen to be refocused on once you get home. Whilst you only get eight shots per gig of storage, the Lytro package allows shooters to share these short dynamic videos, which make use of the 3D light mapping to move around stuff in the foreground. And now other industries are taking a keen interest too. NASA wants to use its high light sensitivity to shoot into deep space and its 3D metadata to help guide planetary rovers. Medical researchers are transforming microscopes to capture and then visualize cell structures in 3D. And the US military hope to get an edge over their enemies at night. Imagine night vision goggles, for example, that uh, would, be, would weigh half as much as anything does today and, and would let people see in conditions that are anywhere from four to six times darker than you can uh, today. As for the rest of us, at £1,300, the Illa might not be the biggest cut price bargain when compared to many high-res DSLRs. Lytro is hoping that ultimately, that won't be the focal point. I attended without sandwich. 